Hi, just, just a quick video to illustrate um, how the product options and the product variants are working uh, on your site. So I'm currently on the on the dashboard on a new site I just created. I will go to the Edit Site tab and then to uh, to the uh, to the products. So I already have created two different products. One one is a bag, one is a blender. And I will start adding product options and variants to uh, to each of them. So I will first edit the bag. I click that I want to add uh, different options. At the moment, I have no uh, available options, so I will create the first one. So I create another product option, and this one, for instance, will be the color of the bags um, and I will have one black then I add another option which will be gray another option which will be red and I save this and this is the product option color for my for my bag um, well Actually, the product options are shared among all products, so I can use it for all the different products. So I will save that first, and I will now, now create the variants for my, for my bag. So I select the option color to say that I would like to, uh, to use uh, those different choices for my, for my bags, and then I need to create the variants, so uh, a product of a certain specific color. So in that case, so it's quite simple. So I will, let's say for my bags, I have all the options, like all those three colors available, black, gray, and red. And I save. So now those options appear here, appear here. They all have the, uh, the same price. It's shared among the different uh, uh, variants in that particular example. I will save. Um, and if I look at uh, at my site preview, it's always taking some time to loot the products. My bag is here. I can use the different options, and now I have the black, gray, and red options available. The blender at the moment is still does not have any option. So I will edit my site again, edit my products, and now add an option for the blender. So I can edit the blender, and as the same, I can select the different options for this product. So what I can do is I can either reuse the color, and in that case, if I want to add variants, the same options as for the um, as for the bags are available. I don't have to use all of them, so I could use only, for instance, black and red in the case of the uh, of the blender. That's the first uh, that's the first way of doing it. So you could have twenty different colors and use only five for the bags and other five for the blender, for instance. And um, <clears throat> if I look at the um, at the sorry at the at the preview, the blender is only available in black and red. The second option, um, the second way of doing it, if you don't want to share the option between the different pro the different products, that you could also create another product option. So you have this one, the color that we used for the for the for the bags. But we could also add a color um, that is completely different. Purple, pink, and blue. 
and we could either like leave just the name as color or color or blender. No, let's leave it at color. And you could see you can see that you have a different set of options available. So I'm saving, and now I have the two different color options. So I'm not distinguished here, but then it's easy to see in the product variants which one are available. So I'm going to select the second one. I'm going to add the variants. So now I've changed um, I've changed the, uh, the option. So it went back to uh, to the beginning, and I'm selecting, for instance, purple, pink, and blue. And I can save. And if I look at the at the blender, I can see that now it's using purple, pink, and blue. 